Hey, it's Miriam. I am a mom, a software developer, and a programming teacher. And this is the Therus and Ona YouTube channel, where we make computers easy to understand to get you and your family all excited about technology. Today, we are going to talk about microchips. Here's what you're about to learn. What is a microchip? The different types of microchips and some fun facts about them. Now, let's begin. If you've been reading Therus and Ona for a while, you already know about Therus' guilty pleasure. Microchips! He wants to eat them anytime and anywhere, all the time, even when he's not feeling well. Okay, so you already know that about microchips, but what are they actually? And how does your computer use them? Microchips are like mini brains inside your computer and they help it remember information. They are tiny plates made out of silicon and they come in many different types and shapes. They can be as small as a few square millimeters, which means you might need a microscope to see all its parts. Microchips are used in all devices around your house and they can be designed to do many different things. Some of them might be designed to be simply calculators. Others can also listen to changes in their environment, like for example in an oven, in an air conditioner or a heater. A temperature sensor sends a signal to a thermostat, which can be programmed to turn it on and off depending whether it's too cold or too warm. And these are just a few examples. In today's world, we are already used to microchips being so small, but at the beginning of computers, simply calculators could take up an entire room. The IBM 608 was the first calculator to use microchips in 1954, and it was stored inside large cabinets. Now, it is exploration time. Where in your house can microchips be hiding? Are they inside your camera, your TV, or maybe even your car? Pinpoint a couple of places, come back and let us know. Head over to therusanona.com and leave a comment. And once you're there, you can also subscribe to our mailing list, where we share free videos, stories and extension activities around our books. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you back again soon in the binary world.